Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to repair the the problem of a Western digital drive with a corrupted ATA module. Now we have a drive connected to our adapter, and now we are powered on. And first we need to check if the ATA module is is corrupted. So the first thing we do is to load from HDD. And after loaded from HDD, we cannot see anything in the status bar. We cannot see any parameters or any ASIN, LBA, or HES number. And we switch to view sectors. We cannot see any sectors as well. So now we go to backup firmware. And we double click any firmware, it's blank. Means we didn't get information firmware. So now what we need to do is to load in low speed, which is unique for the ROYL series. So now we uh, try again. After ready and choose low speed and to load from HDD again. Okay, when it's loaded, um, in status bar it's the same, but when we switch to the backup firmware tab and we double click any firmware, we can see the content. So, which means actually we can check, scan for errors of the firmware right now. And now we read to check if there are any problems with firmware. Okay, so uh, num number 100, 103 has an error. It's okay, it's a CRC error, so it's not important. And it's not an important module as well, because it's not given a name or something. So now we finished the, the scan, and we found that ATM mod module is, is corrupted. We can see here. So in order to fix this problem, we have to find a donor ATA module, which is now we have to find uh, a module ATA module from a donor drive, which has uh, the same model and same PCB number. So actually now we have a donor on the desktop ready for us to update this module. In here, it's number eleven. Is ATA. So, so now what we're going to do is to update this module. So we switch to update firmware tab, and we choose um, first we select directory of the the donor donor ATA module. So now we have uh, we have given directory directory of the the donor module, and we click OK. And uh, we select uh, module 11 and uh, choose primary head and secondary head as well. And we click right to update this module. Okay, now the update is completed. You can see notice here. So now we power off and back on to check the status again. It means ready. We uh, can choose, and we can, we can actually try this high speed and load from HDD again. So now we can see everything back to normal. SN. And from our version in LBA and has number everything. So now we're going to the view sector. We're going to check the sectors. Uh, offset zero is fine. Offset 63 is okay, no problem. So basically, now the drive is fixed. Okay, thanks for watching.